Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, November 6, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have a signal service on Patreon where a lot of uh, traders are active on and forum, and it's uh, quite cool to be very honest. So you're welcome to join us there. Link is down below. So we'll look at these five currency pairs and we'll start out by looking at uh, Great British Pound and the US dollar. And this was an absolutely amazing day for the foreign exchange market. Main reason is that the uh, US um, uh, dollar index depreciated significantly today. And that, of course, has an enormous effect on this market. However, Great British Pound, US dollar hit resistant at the same place that we hit resistant twice in the previous three weeks. So bear in mind, if this breaks, then of course we go to these highs and probably go to these highs before that. But this will be basically our target. Uh, this is pure speculation at this moment because people are anticipating um, abiding victory and abiding victory will also um, is also expected to uh, to have additional stimulus uh, with it but there's no new precedent at the moment and there's definitely no new stimulus so so this can fall just as fast as it basically grew and the US dollar index is anticipated to fall a little bit more but not significantly more. So it will basically turn around and that will have an enormous effect on this. So we may fall towards the 50 moving average within uh, the next uh, few trading days, probably not tomorrow, but on Monday, if it turns around, then this will fall significantly. There is, I if I put my bet on this, there's more room to the downside for this uh, currency pair than the upside. Uh, mainly due to the condition in, in Europe, in, in in UK, which is basically shutting its economy, and to do Brexit, and so on and so on. So there's no reason for the uh, Great British Pound to basically uh, to rally at this point. So this is where we are. If we fall, this is where we technically will go, towards the 50 moving average. So US dollar yen, as I said yesterday, we fell really hard towards this um, trend line. And at this point, we may touch it or we may break through it, but there's not going to be a significant breakout. And the same reason for, as I said earlier, US dollar index will most likely start appreciating maybe tomorrow or a Monday session, and that will basically make this go back up. So we'll stay within this channel and so on. But this is a possible a buying opportunity. If you get a green candlestick here, that is an indication that this is going to go higher. Technical indicators for this are horrible at the moment, but we are significantly oversold. So bear in mind, this can turn around really quickly as it fell also extremely drastically. We fell around how much? 1.74%. And that is quite substantial. So this is a buying opportunity uh, for sure. But Bear in mind, it can go underneath this channel. Euro, US dollar, we rallied, but similar to the to the to the um, to the um, Great British Pound, US dollar, we ran into resistance where we have been several times before. We were here for several months, from August all the way to basically to November. We've basically been in this area here, so. We're te technically almost at the top of the range. So very top of the range, I would say, is here. This is basically an outlier, but that is the very top of the range, around 1195 uh, or 1200 or 1.200. Uh, that is basically the top of the range. So we may have a little bit of room on the upside, but this can fall really fast. If the US dollar index starts appreciating again, then you'll see just the opposite of this. So if we fall here, then we'll find resistant uh, support, I mean, at the 50 moving average at 11.76. Uh, um, but at this moment, most of these indicators are very bullish. At, uh, so there's no reason to expect this to turn around all of a sudden. So Aussie, US dollar, 
talk about a rally. Yes, I was expected. I was supposed to, to buy in down here. I should have bought in, and um, then I would have made a uh, fantastic trade here. But, but um, you can't catch them all. It has rallied how much? Four point two six percent in um, well for trading days, and that is an absolute is a third uh, of a rally at this point. We are almost overbought, and um, therefore we may have hit um, resistant here, and that would also coincide with this area here, which is basically resistant. If we go higher, then we will find a significant resistance again there. So we may have a pullback, and that pullback will lead us to the 50 moving average, that which is here, and after that, it is a matter of whether or not we, we, we bounce from there or we break through the 50 moving average. At this point, we are significantly overstretched in the Bollinger Band. I have never seen this stretch that far above the Bollinger Band. So a pullback is anticipated whether or not that happens tomorrow or on Monday. It will definitely happen because this just can happen um, continue growing like this. We have seen moves like this, similar, for example, here. You can see what basically happens. We we uh, we rally significantly, and then it breaks just as fast to the downside. But 50 moving average should, should be uh, major support. So, yes, this is uh, the other trade, and this is a US uh, CAD. We ran into resistance up here, and then we fell, and we fell around 2.6% in, in this week alone. And we have broken this uh, uh, support line, and that means that we are going to target this. It's uh, 1284, and the technical indicators are all showing that we are going to go significantly lower with this market. We may have a pullback towards this area here. That's just a... Um, opportunity to sell this if we rally up towards this area because this will act as resistant now but we are going lower and target would be 1284 and i would not be surprised if we started entering this channel again so i hope you find this uh, video helpful you're welcome to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down in the corner hit the like button the bell button in order to see our newest video and you're welcome to come and join us over at patreon uh, good luck and thank you very much.